This is another tip too about working on your laundromat. Don't try to do every project one night. Pick one specific thing to do, get that done, and then the next day move on to the next one. See, I just wanted to hook up those three pipes, the conduit, the drain line to here, that drain line, and the vent. And then tomorrow I'll actually pour concrete. This is what it looks like when Horizon's actually working, which is a very rare sight to see. So I wanted to show you this. It's not overfilling. It doesn't have the infamous EDL. The soap tray isn't hanging off. It hasn't rotted, rusted apart, and the bearings are good. I mean, this is a very rare sight, so I really want you to enjoy this because you're just not gonna see this a whole lot. And I know you see the panel missing. Don't criticize me. See what I mean? That pipe had no flow. Look at that. Look at all this water running out. I hate this. Well, that's even better, folks, when your pipes aren't connected. That's what I'm talking about. Your equipment dealers aren't always laundry, or your, your let me, blah, blah, blah. your laundromat equipment dealers are not always plumbers, so please be careful with this. This is what happened to me. They're good people, but they shouldn't have been installing this. At least it's making it, huh? That's how much water. It's probably been in there for weeks. Yummy. Get wet, I hope. They're just peeing out here for me. I'm gonna clean this up real quick, but it's working just like it's supposed to. Now, the reason I'm doing this is I really hate to waste, the, I hate to waste the fittings or something I know I'm gonna rip out because that island is coming out. There's no sense in gluing these together for now. People won't be touching this. It'll be okay for now. And there'll be no back pressure. I will tighten that boot, but there's just no sense in no sense in it. So we're just gonna tempt that. We're gonna go ahead and rip this out. And 
have it go down the pipe, go down the drain. Suck, it's got water in it now. This is yummy. There you go, Brandon. Some yummy, yummy. Ah. Ooh, this is just icky. This just feels nasty. Show you the hole I got going here. Not too bad. There's the pipe. Right down there is that casting. It must have a boot. We're gonna pop it off. We're gonna run 245s and come up right here because the island will be right here and we'll be able to use it as a clean out. I don't want it popping up over here because this, this line is gonna be the back of the new washers. So the washer's back will actually be here going this way. And that could end up being right where you need to bolt a corner of a machine down. So this would not work, so about this because we like science everybody loves science I know what you're thinking is Keenan really touching that sewer pipe yeah this is why I don't worry about COVID I'm in a lot worse stuff than COVID look at that yummy there you go Brandon that's yummy oh, show you what this looks like now that's cast iron down there and that's a that's a boot so we'll clean that sand off and i'll see if i have an i have a 45 but i don't think i have that type of 45 but i'm going to cover this up so it doesn't get plugged because that would be bad Yeah, I can talk now. All the people are gone. Got all sand filled up. This pipe here, this 45 is not glued on yet. I could still dig this down. And then what I'm gonna do is put a better 45 so it comes straight up right up here. And then I can put a clean out right there. Since my angle iron will be right on top of this, right on this edge of it, right here, going back, I'll make sure that that's out of the way. But I'll have a nice clean out there. This will all be poured in concrete, about four inches thick. That pad over there will be about six inches, just to be on the safe side in case one of the corners of the washer. Because right here, there'll be a 40 pounder, another 40 pounder, and I think the 40 pounder is going to line up right there to be bolted in. But just in case, I'll pour that pad a little thicker. 
and then the pad underneath all those washers comes out too. But I just cleaned this out and I want to test this. I want to see, so I got one machine on that island that's ready to go and I got one machine over there. I'm going to vend them while I'm waiting for them to hit the drain cycle. I'm going to go ahead and sweep up my mess. This laundromat is a disaster. So put it on warm, normal. I hear water. I hear water. There we go. Look at that. Nice thing about this too is you can see what's coming out of the drain. So if that pipe to that island ever clogs, I can tell right away. My problem isn't at the street or in the parking lot. It's from here to the island. I love, that's what I love about this kind of a setup. And see that pipe's handling it because it's got that vent. Before this dumb setup here had no vent. So it was sealed. So it would back up water because it was trying to get the air out. Now we don't have that. I know I'm awful excited about this, but I hate when they set up these places so bad. See that washer has flown through its cycle. It usually takes 24 minutes and I swear to God we've only been here 20. Maybe even a little less. Now this horizon's gonna dump now, comes water. Look at that, beautiful. If I had a downpipe on, I wouldn't be making such a mess. Look at that, that's it. And there's still a little bit of a hump in that pipe. I don't know if you can see it, but it actually goes, it goes dips back that way. That's why we're getting a little bit of that drainage because that pipe still isn't <laughs> right. What a mess. But beautiful. See, I love it. I love it when a plan comes together. Man, that's all the time we got for tonight, folks. I'm pretty much going to close this up and then go home for the night and get some sleep. Appreciate watching. If you like this kind of thing, you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. I always, can, I always appreciate likes. Like I said, I hope you get something out of this. So, until next time, take it easy. Be safe.